Tonight, an assisted living facility has been ordered to pay up after firefighters deemed what was called a security measure unsafe. Baltimore City fire officials say that they exposed the breach during an emergency call. 11 News I team reporter Barry Sims has the details live from downtown. Barry. Donna, for having five padlocked doors, the assisted living facility was fined $2,500. And now the state agency that regulates those agencies, those facilities, it is now conducting its own investigation. An emergency medical call led to the discovery. Baltimore City paramedics and police found another serious situation at the Royal Heart Assisted Living Facility in the 3600 block of White Avenue. Five exit doors padlocked from the inside. Oh, it's absolutely serious. I mean, it's, it's, against, it's, it's against the law for a reason uh, because when people need to vacate a property for you know, whatever reason, whether it's, it's fire or smoke or carbon monoxide, uh, it's much easier if you have, uh, you know, doors uh, that have, you know, say maybe a panic door uh, that you can, um, that, you know, you cannot open from the outside, but you can push open. Rescue crews found the padlock doors Sunday morning. They immediately cut the locks and got a fire inspector to come to the facility. Bolting locks uh, greatly slows down the time that allows you to get out and could cause death or further injury. And uh, so, and especially for people who are vulnerable at an assisted living facility, it's unacceptable. We tried to contact the managers and owners of Royal Heart Assisted Living. How are you doing? Okay. I'm Barry Susan, Channel 11. Well, we're trying to see, talk to the, the owner or the manager. Now, the state is investigating, sending in inspectors from the Office of Health Care Quality. You entrust your loved ones to their care, and, and, the, and the law um, does not allow them to do this. And, you know, so, so I think that, you know, the, uh, you know that's, what, that's why we have our inspectors who are on call and come, you know, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If there is a violation and we can abate the situation and, and uh, um, you know, make a citation and hopefully put an end to it. And, and you know, get the uh, operators to develop a new policy for securing their facility. Now, state health officials tell us that their investigation began Sunday. It is ongoing, and they will not make any comment until it concludes. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL TV, 11 News.